Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero players. This is Andy Teshordo, and today I'm going to be talking about the version update for 228-2018 Quality of Life, of what notes they've uh, placed on in the game or on the forum so far. Um, I will say I apologize for the sounding of my voice. I've been kind of sick lately, so working on getting over that. <laughs> I hope I get get over it soon. So I'm going to talk about it and then I'll talk about some things I haven't, I've noticed that isn't in here. So, but I hope that they've fixed within this year because it's been highly requested. Uh, but let me go ahead and get into it. So quality of life improvements, raid ticket daily fixed. Guild officers can now rest assured that raid tickets, leaderboard and guild management will constantly be accurate. That's a good, um, device linking. So if you have an iOS device and you want to go over to Android or vice versa, you can keep that together so you don't have to start all over. Um, I don't have a problem with this, so yeah, I'm going to stay with Android. <laughs> um, Galactic War Simming. Players who have reached 85 and completed Galactic War 150 times can now, wow, 150 times, can now sim Galactic War. And I'm sure, hopefully, it also tracks the past times that you've done it, which I think there was an achievement once you got to 150. I just, I just haven't, I've been just doing it for, like, ever. <laughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. Um, hopefully, they added it. If they don't have an achievement, that would be a great thing to add so you can kind of say, okay, I've completed it. Here we go. But I know for sure I've completed uh, Galactic War 150 times. Um. Uh, so yeah, text search. When filtering units by category, you now can search the text entry. Like for example, typing Han or searching for tags like Dark Side and Jedi. So now, so when you actually look your look for characters, you can actually do a text search as well. Uh, setting up characters for uh, uh, battle. <laughs> Pre-battle filter. Oh, no, that's actually you know, in in the it looks like in the character character mode. So you can actually type Han and it'll search for Han. Pre-battle filter. Selecting units in the pre-battle or pre-combat screen would now be easier. Uh, they can be filtered by category or text. So they, I guess they're both the same. <clears throat> Favorite units improvements. So units are not active or. That are not active can now be set as favorite. That's good because when you're sitting there trying to farm a character for shards and you're trying to look for um, the character and you have to go to the not active and scroll through that amount, it, you can now put that in your favorites. So you go to favorites, you're like 10 fav uh, characters you're working on and, and you can select that, uh, select the uh, non-active character. Like say I'm farming... Uh, Let's see, I have, I don't, I, well, I'm thinking of a character, but you, you guys get the idea. You can now do that. Uh, favorited units are now sorted at the top of the character inventory, m minimizing the need to select a filter. <coughs> Would, excuse me, which is good. So, that's always nice. Uh, when viewing gear details, any characters that have been favorited are sorted from the beginning of the characters that need that gear. So that's good too. Um, it's always nice to actually have easier access to your favorites. So that's really going to help out. Uh, Multi-sim ship challenges. So once three stars have reached the, in the final tier of shipbuilding, uh, you can now sim them, which is great, especially on the day, which is Mondays. For shipbuilding, you don't have to select all of them. You just select it once, come back two minutes later, select it again, and you're done. Of course, that two minutes later is only for those that have reached, I think, like 85 or something with one of the small recent updates they did. Uh, sim credit heist and uh, training droid events. That's great. <clears throat> that saves some time. So you can, once you've three-starred these, guy, these uh, events, you could just sim them, which is great as well saves time uh so it's good that they're actually thinking of time savers uh, back in the day they probably didn't think of it because you know gave players something to do but now players are starting to get territory wars and territory battles to focus on they want to focus less on these other things that are just instantly give them credits and maybe if you sim these it might actually change the hopefully they've also fixed it to change the uh 
the rent um rng of getting like the the credit heist always getting like 1.5 and 2.5 gives you more of a chance to get five or ten because i have never gotten 10 million and i think once or twice i've gotten five million i've always gotten 2.5 or 1.5 <clears throat> excuse me um inbox message delete button um so any of those uh messages that say go like the uh Let's see if, I don't know if my guild has posted anything yet. Nope. Like anytime your guild would say, you know, we need your help in a territory war or territory battle, it'll always say go. But if you've already done your, you know, the battles, and because that's a mass message to everyone, then all you have to do is delete it instead of always go, which is nice. That's convenient. Uh, rearranging units. There is a variety of situation where a player's tall unit is obscuring a small unit her uh, uh the results in players being unable to select the obscured unit when the ally ability allows it like example Hera's backup plan ability to ensure units can always be selected and seen units will now be rearranged based on h unit height oh that's good the one exception is the leader unit which will remain in the front. This tech also applies to opponent's ships to minimize uh, situations where your opponent's ship cannot be targeted. This is a primary issue on capital ship's turns. Yeah, so that, that's good. I'm glad that they're doing that because, you know, some of the characters in battle you just could not target because there was, or you accidentally target the wrong one. Like you want, like use Thrawn's uh, turn meter and protection. Uh, uh, protection regeneration ability to target one character but you accidentally targeted the front one instead so me changing them around by size is awesome i like this i like that they're doing that it's going to really help out <clears throat> so yes the, the developers are listening to these um zeta purchase uh confirmation so to avoid accidentally upgrading a, an ability to its Zeta level, which I kind of wish they did this with Omegas as well, a confirmation message would now warn players prior to upgrade. Because uh, if I had that during the time I went to select um, uh, BB-8s, if it was for Omegas, uh, BB-8s, uh, the ability that gives them taunt and... Uh, I would have, I would have just, you know, I really, I would have been like, okay, let me double check, back out, reread it, what am I getting, and let me see how beneficial it is, and then I could have probably saved an Omega for another character. Um, but of course, they, at least doing this for Zetas, which is great, because you don't want to accidentally go in and be like, oh, I don't want to Zeta that, I don't want to Zeta that, but you've already Zetaed it. Um, so yeah, that's nice. Uh, shipment improvements. Uh, to significantly reduce the number of required taps when viewing details on the shipment and then choosing the, to purchase, shipments will now show the quality of or quantity of gear shards sh owned at the top level. And the details screen acts as a confirmate as the confirmation. Hmm. This is interesting. We'll definitely, once this um, update has been thrown in and I give it about a day to, you know, refresh everything, I'll go in and do a video on all of this. So I kind of go over everything. Uh, the last month's top three leaderboards have been visually improved. <clears throat> Legal changes for German players. I'll, yeah, you guys can read that part. Uh, territory war improvements. Uh, to minimize the chance of a tie. So they kind of updated it to, you know, minimizing ties because you don't want a tie because everyone gets uh, the two. Uh, which I wouldn't mind them just if they have a problem with ties, they could always just give a reward base based on ties. Where instead of, you know, like the winner gets three Zetas, the loser gets, you know, two Zetas, and then tires get one Zeta or something, you know, something of that nature. <clears throat> um, one additional banner could be, can also be earned for each surviving units if less than the max units are brought. So you, these are kind of do, uh, tips on what's been improved. Uh, <clears throat> the number of times a squad fleet is defended is recorded in the squad tile and the tile will remain after the squad is defeated. 
This will help players identify how well their squad is defending and will communicate the to potentially attempt bonus to attackers. Increase defensive squads with for top guilds. As top guilds have so many squads, the average of four defensive squads per player isn't allowing them to fully demonstrate the strength of their rosters. <clears throat> to remedy to remedy the act average defensive squads will scale up to six per player if both participants are in the highest active uh, galactic power tier. So this is interesting. So I guess it might be just based on galactic power on how many you can actually have. Like I've actually thrown in more than six uh, normally at times because a lot of the times I just want to defend more so I don't have to worry about attacking. But then again, I don't have the best of the best teams. So, you know, throwing some of my good teams in and then kind of beat up the rest of other teams is always nice. So it also depends on what your guild is doing because uh, once my guild changed some rules around, I wasn't doing that much anymore. Um, units will no longer be pre-populated in pre-battle in pre -battle for territory wars specifically. This is to prevent accidental entering the battle with the pre-selected units that typically are not meant to be together. So, yeah, that's kind of what's uh, coming for quality of life. I really like a lot of this stuff. Um, I, feel kind of, I feel like I'm kind of disappointed on some things that haven't been touched on, which I'm sure maybe during this year we'll get, or maybe it just is something they're going to add later on down the road. But And that is the... Oh, I selected that. I hate that. <clears throat> just loading. Is the Bronzium data cards. Everyone hates multiple clicking. I hope they address this because honestly, if they do exactly what they did with the um, chromiums, I meant the bronziums, yeah. Um, what they did with the chromiums, uh, with the bronziums, that's going to, you know, alleviate a lot of annoyance. And they could give the bronzium a 5, a 10, and a 15, or a 4, 8, 12, one of those two. And, you know, it'll just help players out. But another thing I would say with bronziums, I feel like they should do is actually update the characters. I've talked about this in other videos, but I'm going to go ahead and talk about it again. Uh, but I feel like updating, or like the possible characters where you unlock, uh, like say Boba Fett for 80 shards, that's that's fine. Uh, those will stay, but like first off, adding more characters would be great. Like adding the Phoenix Squad in here, adding Gar Saxon and Imperial Super Commando in here would be great. Adding, you know, a couple of their ships, like maybe Boba Fett's ship. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, going through, going through, going through. Plo Koon's ship, Five's ship. Um, Jedi Consular's ship. Uh, Clone Sergeant's uh, ship. Oh, I forgot that. It goes back. No, I didn't select Urar Urar. Go away, Urar Urar. No, what? There we go. Um, <laughs> uh, clone Sergeants, Biggs, <clears throat> Ahsoka ships. You know, those ships could be added in here. Uh, the, um, the Phoenix ships can be added in. Gar Saxon ship can be added in. You know, just those kind of character add-ins would be great, I think. I'm not saying add a bunch of characters, but just add a few here and there. Maybe eventually... I, I feel like the Jawas have been out all a long time, so I feel like all the Jawas can be thrown in here. Or there's only like two or three in here. Dacha, Jawa, and... Oh, there's only two. So they can add uh, Jawa Scavenger, Jawa Engineer, or... Yeah, and Jawa... Oh, what's the other one? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Uh, but yeah, just adding all the Jawas in here, all the Tuscans, they're only missing uh, Shaman right now. Just to add a few more characters so we have a chance at like seven-starring them all. Because honestly, if you get to the point where you're seven, you have a lot all characters seven-starred, except maybe like event characters, then all the characters you get in here get turned into currency to farm gear. So it never hurts. Um, and, uh, changing the amounts up here from one to maybe one to five or three to five. So you could get a more, a little bit more shards. I'm not saying a lot, but a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think on that in the comments below. And of course, let me know what you guys think about the, the info released 
I think it was released today or yesterday. Let's see when it was. <clears throat> February 16th. So yesterday it was released. Uh, I just didn't notice it till today. But yesterday I was a little worse off being sick than today. I had to take off work, which sucks. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of what's coming up. What's upcoming so far with quality of life? We're also definitely going to be getting some more Sith action within the next couple of weeks, so we're excited about that too. So yeah, stick to stay tuned. I will keep that updated. But again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching. And again, sorry I've been out for a few videos, but I will be getting some more videos posted in, within the week, especially with all the upcoming news for Star Wars: Galaxy of Heroes and any other news for. Uh, magic as well but again thanks for watching and have a wonderful day